Okay, now this part's very crucial. I wanted you to record during this part, Marie, because I wanted it to look like that I helped pack up a little bit before we left. See, put the suitcase in. Shoes, we're ready to go. See Peek-a-Bug. So weird, not wearing a hat. We're on our way to Kentucky at our very first gas stop. I'm gonna be kind of vlogging along the way, um, just uh, just to kind of show, you know, some some cool things that we're gonna do. Along. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, maybe I'm just filling up time. I know I'm just I'm super nervous right now. I'm super super nervous. We were supposed to leave yesterday, and I think my anxiety got the best of me. But uh. I'm so excited to do this project, but at the same time, it is so nerve wracking because I've never done anything like this before. And these little stops like the gas station really, really help out a lot when you're traveling. So, so essentially the goal is to go down to Kentucky. Uh, the first stop is going to be our hotel so we can check in and then we're going to chill at the hotel, hopefully for a little bit. I'm hoping that we'll be able to check in um, and then go from the hotel to Rachel's house and then from Rachel's house to the Pikachu car, Pika Bug. Uh, we've got like a whole day planned, activities and everything, and um, it's gonna be a, a crazy wild ride, wild weekend, an entire weekend down here doing a big Pokemon adventure. So this is gonna be it's gonna be a good time. Gonna be gonna be a fun positive time. And also let it be noted that I went to bed at 6 a.m. and woke up at 7:30 a.m. So Hour and a half of sleep. Yeah. Okay, so we need to stop at a Target as soon as we find one because since we're going to Rachel and Lucas's house, we've never been to their house before, but we need to get them a housewarming gift. Like, I don't know. I have, I have no idea what you get someone that's lived in a house for a while. <laughs> but let's just stop, let's stop like at a Target and um, grab them something fun, something that I like, and just kind of share something that I like with them, and then they can have it and they can keep it. Like, let's be nice. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we get, we get them a case of LaCroix. Really? <laughs> that represents me, and then plus if I get thirsty, <laughs> there's some LaCroix right so there. So this is not for them, this no, is for you. It's, Whatever's left is for them. <laughs> Does he know? That's not right. Okay, so we made a quick gas station stop so Marie could go inside and I figured, you know what, what better time than to check Pokemon Go. It's a Pokemon day. It's a Pokemon trip we are going on right now. So let's uh, let's see what we got going on here in Pokemon Go. Um, we got an Execute. We got a Ralts. For once, I would just like to stop somewhere and there'd just be like an amazing Pokemon just sitting in a gas station in the middle of nowhere like we are right now. Oh, I locked the door on Marie. Guess I uh, better unlock that for her. Gosh. Can you Sorry about that. Uh -huh. We decided to play some Pokemon Go. What'd you get? Cody. QBQ. Did you get anything for me? Nope. Marriage. <laughs> Marie, no. there's a Dollar Tree over there. No, are you we could we could buy all the Dollar Tree Pokemon packs. Just think, just think, we could pull, we could pull a, a gold Pokemon card. Keep thinking. About I don't think you're, don't think you're as excited as I am. Bye bye. So Marie and I have officially made it to our hotel here at the Marriott. We're gonna be about 20 to 25 minutes away from our actual location where we're gonna be going and filming with uh, Rachel and Lucas, the owners of Pika Bug, the Pikachu car, and all these other crazy cool Pokemon memorabilia items that I cannot wait to show you. But we're gonna get settled into this hotel and then start heading over that way and get this filming started all right marie are you ready yeah. for our room here you hold that okay all right here we go 
Very cool. Oh, nice. Nice room. I think we got our money's worth. Wait, we got Netflix? Netflix and Hulu? Yeah. And YouTube? We could be watching Shane Dawson all weekend. Are you kidding me? Pictures. Oh, but one of the things we always got to check out. The bathroom. Sweet stand-up shower. Very nice. I like it. I like it. And the knobs are fancy. Okay, so we have a little bit of time before we actually head over to see Rachel and Lucas. And I want to look up the video of the Pika Bug in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. So um, Rachel said she owns the actual Pika Bug Pikachu car from the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And it was in it like in 2001 to 2003 or 2004, somewhere along there. But I want to find the video and see if we can actually see the Pikachu car in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. So let's see. Let's see what we can find here. YouTube.com 2001 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. They have one on here. And it's it's two hours long. <laughs> oh, okay. I found it. I found the Pikachu. Okay, I don't know if the car is going to be... Okay, well, hopefully the car is going to be in here, but I saw the Pikachu balloon. Okay, so look at this. Okay, so I can see... His, there's the Pikachu balloon right there. We know the car was in it. Where is it at, though? That's all they're showing is the balloon. I don't know if they're going to show the car at all. Okay, so it's panning down a little bit. I don't know if we're gonna... No! Wait! Ah! Let's do 2002 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Let's see if the Pikachu car is in this one. So it's in the parade, it's just that if they're showing it on TV, it looks like it's just gonna be the balloon again. And we only have one or two more years. I'm going to I'm going to keep searching, see if I can find it. I just got distracted by Big Comfy Couch. Don't act like you didn't watch it. Give us the Pikachu slug bug. Come on. No. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the last year for the Pikachu car in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I could be wrong, but I feel like it was just at least until 2004. What have we done? We watched three years of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and I do not see the car on screen anywhere. There's pictures of it. There's pictures online of the Pikachu car in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's not on any of the videos at all. What have we done? I'm never gonna get that back, never. I gotta go get ready because we gotta head to the Pikachu car. I got a cool outfit too, just wait. Did I go too overboard? I went full on Pikachu. Pikachu socks, Pikachu shirt, and Pikachu hoodie. I feel like I went a little, a little too overboard with that. <laughs> but it, I mean, what else are we gonna get to do this? I'm not regretting this. Some of you may not wear this, but I'm living my life. Okay, officially on our way to Rachel and Lucas's place to meet up with them and then head to where they keep Hey, thank you to where they keep the Pikachu car Team Instinct. Uh, Team Instinct Team Instinct that's no Team Instinct. I'm just kidding <laughs> Head through their place then head to where they keep the Pikachu car but I'm actually like crazy, crazy nervous. Crazy, crazy. I think I really, I really confused that guy back there. You did. Actually, you confused me. But here's the, here's the thing. So like, I, like I'm super, super nervous. Like crazy, crazy nervous. The thing is, is we've never met, we've, we've never met Rachel and Lucas before at all. Like they've, they've been internet friends technically. I mean, which is a common thing, which is a common thing anymore. I mean, that's like, if you said that, what, like 10 years ago, yeah. 10 or 15 years ago, people would look at you like you're crazy, but they're, they've been internet friends and we've known them for a long time. I have a picture 
of me with her Pika bug. Yeah, so we've seen the Pikachu car before. Um, I think you saw it more than I did. I kind of like stayed away from it because I was like a little too nervous. Oh, I loved it. While we're there, I'm going to ask her a really big question. Really big question that could change the outcome of this entire trip. Okay, let's head. Let's head there. Okay, so I was not kidding about the LaCroix. I want to pick up Rachel and Lucas some LaCroix, my favorite one, passion fruit. I might drink some, but we got to find something else. We can't just get, can't, we can't just get LaCroix. We got to get something else. Flowers? Do we I, get? I think it's a good idea. Okay. I think it's a little boring, but you're suggesting it, so I'm going to go with it though. I mean, it is kind of like a Pikachu color, so. Mm -hmm. we can, I mean, okay. I get, I'm, I'm rolling with it now. I'm kind of, I'm feeling the vibe. A little bit more. Okay, so we got LaCroix, we got flowers. Fine, let's find something else. We gotta find, find at least one more thing. At least one more thing. Okay. Okay, they don't know I'm doing this part. This isn't part of like the housewarming gift, but I want to get some Pokemon cards. And I don't know if they've opened up Pokemon, if they do open up Pokemon cards, or if they have opened up Pokemon cards in a long time. I want to get them some, and I'm gonna make them open it up. Um, let's go ahead and get. We do Dragon Majesty. Or do we do something up here? Let's do, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know, what do you think? I think Dragon Majesty. You think Dragon Majesty? Mm -hmm. But if we get Celestial Storm, we can get like four of them, they can each open up two. You with me? Yeah. Let's do Celestial Storm and make them open it up. Now we gotta go find one more housewarming gift, because this is not a housewarming gift. Okay, now this last one may seem a little crazy, but I went with a lint roller because from one pet family to another. I know they have a dog, they have a cat. This right here is gold, and they will appreciate probably this out of any of these other things, because I know if someone was to bring all three of these things to my house, this would be the one that I would be like, yes, this right here, I need this, because when you got, we have two dogs, and when you, go, when you got dogs, you got a lot of hair. That's what I'm saying. There's just a lot of hair around the house, okay? That's all I'm saying. Okay, so we're actually getting pretty close to the destination. I'm a little bit on the nervous side. I'm excited though at the same time. It's just I've never done a big project like this before. The time is here. We are finally, I legit am freaking out. We are finally here with Rachel and Lucas in what may be one of the coolest places. If, if this is, if, if heaven existed on earth, this is where, this is where it is right here. This is a lot, like, and not like it's a lot in a bad way, but like it's a lot in a really good, good way. And you said before we started that this was it's probably about ten percent, if I had to guess. Most of it's back in storage because we don't have room out here, obviously. So ten percent. Ten. This. This is ten percent. This is absolutely crazy. I'm. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start. So I know. I discussed like I the Pikachu statue, obviously. And the the Blockbuster. That's from Blockbuster, right? Correct. Yeah. And the Blockbuster station, I guess. It's the Pokemon Snap station, yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with with that. Cause I find that really, really interesting. First of all, how does one come to acquire the Pokemon Stadium? Pokemon Snap station, sorry. So I actually found it on Craigslist. I've gotten quite a few things. The other both of those arcade games came from Craigslist as well. Basically a guy and his buddy worked at Blockbuster so whenever he quit they just gave it to him and then I got it on Craigslist. They literally gave it to him. Yeah. And you, the, the, the thing that I find interesting is like I don't ever find anything cool like this. Like I surf Craigslist and recently like Let's Go or Let Go. I don't find anything like this. I always just find 3DS games and people that think their Charizard's worth $2,000. <laughs> I don't ever find anything cool like this. Now, I know you said that that doesn't work, right? So, it did work. It was in perfect working order, printed the stickers, everything. But when we moved, unfortunately, the TV got knocked around. So, that's, that's kind, of, kind of an easy fix. It would be if we took it all apart and everything. But other than that, I mean, it works fine. Just so, what about, the, what about the paper inside of it? Is it special paper or is it just... It is special paper that's really hard to find now and it's really expensive. So, I don't just print stickers randomly. And you also can't really find the cards that are loaded anymore. Can we see, are we able to see the cards? Yeah. 
Uh, I it totally remember somewhere. these. Mm -hmm. So did you, do you remember this from like when you were a kid? Yeah, um, I never got to play it, but I did go. So these would just be loaded with the money and then you could just go ahead and bring in your own copy of Pokemon Snap from home and plug it in and then just print your own stickers. I'm not going to ask you the price of anything, but I imagine you probably spent some good money on it. They really didn't realize what it was and they were in a hurry to get rid no, of it. No, 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 don't even say that. Don't even say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little jealous because now, now you, you got it for like dirt cheap then, didn't you? All three of these. Yeah. <laughs> been a Pokemon fan my entire life ever since it came to the United States and so this stuff like I've never even seen before. So we're here, we're here, we're finally about to see the Pikachu card. I'm gonna take Pikachu. Oh okay, okay. I'm freaking out. I have to microphones on. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and do it. Go ahead and pull it up. Uh, oh my god. Oh. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Except for that sticker you have in the back corner. <laughs> that part, not so gorgeous. Team Mystic. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. This is absolutely, absolutely crazy. Like I don't like I don't even want to get in here. Like I don't even feel like I should be around it <laughs> at this point. The time has finally come. We we did the big reveal, and now we have the Pika Bug. You like calling it Pika Bug or you like Pikachu car? Pika Pe Bug, Pika Pe 3. Pe I usually say Pika 3, but. You're saying Pika 3, so there's a number at the end. So why is there a three at the end? There's more than one. So Nintendo made 10 of these. Um, this is number three of the 10. So there's, they all had the original li license plate said Pika 1 through Pika 10. This one was Pika 3. So that's what I usually call it. And this one was in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. At this least twice that I'm aware of, yes. At least twice. And we obviously looked, tried to find that footage earlier and we couldn't find it. But so so this is like really one of the, the official ones, like, like because it was in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, they've used it for events. So it wasn't just kind of like one of their extra ones that they made. This is like one of the main so, main ones. This particular car was in the uh, Pokemon 2000 movie premiere. They used it for the journey across America. All of their big events at the time, this one was one of their heaviest used cars. How much of this is original? The majority of it. I did have to replace the ears, tail, logo, the little feet. A lot of people don't realize these are supposed to be feet. <laughs> oh, those are, yeah, those are feet. Those are feet. So you I had to replace that down there. those and then just the mouth. Everything else is completely original, except the interior. None of the cars had car seat covers. That was just me. <laughs> and look at that. The paint job on this is absolutely crazy because it looks, it still looks like very new. Mm -hmm. And these aren't decals. This is actually painted on. Oh, that's paint? Mm -hmm. The stripes are painted on, yes. Wow. That's awesome detail. What year? slug bug is this do you know like is it like a 2001 2000 this one's the 2000 yeah. it's a 2000 mm -hmm. okay so 18 years old currently where did you get it so let's say let's say that i wanted a pika bug i mean like how does one come across this like it, it's not like you can just easily go to go somewhere and pick up one like how do you find one of ten I found it on eBay. I was on um, Pokemon Collectors, used to be a big live journal community. One day I was scrolling through, I saw somebody post about their collection. At the end, they just say, oh, I just saw a Pikachu car on eBay. I thought, there's no way. So I get on eBay, sure enough, Pikachu car, a couple weeks later, it's in my driveway. <laughs> very I, lucky find, very, very lucky. And I won't, obviously, we won't ask how much you paid for it. They didn't realize what it was. They thought that just somebody like everything you have in your collection. <laughs> yes, pretty much. Pretty much. Spent too much time online, maybe. But they thought it was just a car that somebody painted and made look goofy. So they were actually selling it for pretty cheap. And you showed me, like, she legit showed me the Carfax of this, and it was owned by Nintendo. Mm -hmm. So this is a 100% legit 
official car. Out of all these features, so like the tail, the front, the cheeks, the ears, like if you had to pick your favorite spot of the car, I know that's a weird question, but like what is your favorite spot of the car? Like do you like the front of it? Do you like the ears? Do you like the tail? I, I like the, I don't know how to properly say, but the rear end. Just the, this nice little curve here, it's Oh, cute. the curve, yeah. And it, it goes perfect with like Pikachu's form. Mm -hmm. It really it's does. It's the Pikachu. It is. It's it Chubby Chew. Let's go take, let's take a look at these, the cheeks and the mouth. Now is the mouth, is that a decal or is that painted on? No, these are all completely painted on. The cheeks and the eyes are original, the mouth I had to have redone. And then that's the nose, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And so that is, that's a paint, yeah, paint job too. Yeah, that was the original as well. Okay. And then another cool feature that I know you mentioned is you said that this actually used to say Pika, right? It said Pika Pika. They had a little switch in the front. Uh, that was another thing that was removed. I have replaced that so I can make it talk just any MP3 clip. Where and you showed me earlier like where it came out, like with the horn. Yeah, there's a speaker underneath the rear left and front right bumper. If I got to pick a favorite spot, it's the tail. That that the tail. tail <laughs> that tail is phenomenal. Let's take a look at the inside. See what you got going on here. So the inside, Nintendo really didn't do any customizations on. So I've left it mostly as it was when I got it. I did add the seat covers, steering wheel covers, just for a little bit of fun. Yeah. And because I let people sit in conventions, so just to protect the original interior. No, that's smart. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Is that as... It's just a sticker. That Isn't it a did. sticker? It looked like it was part of the door handle. I thought it was a legit part of it. You want to sit in it? I mean, do you I want to sit in it? May I? Yeah, go right ahead. Get ready for a thumbnail, folks. <laughs> okay. I feel powerful. Okay, like, never let anybody else do this. Would you like to turn it on? What? Are, wait, like legit? <laughs> we didn't discuss this at all. <laughs> Some things we discussed beforehand, this was not one of them. <laughs> so it I, is, as you can see, pretty low mileage as well. Um, I haven't driven it too much, so we're at 62,000. For an 18 year old car, not too bad. <laughs> that was in a parade too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's and putting some miles it. on it. When they did the journey across America, I mean, east coast to west coast multiple times, they drove it all around. So most of that mileage is from Nintendo. I gotta ask, do you just take it out for fun just to like freak people out? Oh yeah, yeah, that's the best part of it for sure. Just taking it around town, you know, go out to eat, park it in front of the restaurant, watch people's reactions. That's the best part of owning it. I can't believe you let me start it. <laughs> I'm, I'm freak, I don't even like, I don't have to say at this point, <laughs> really I don't. This is, is absolutely cool, absolutely cool, okay. I'm going to shut it off now. <laughs> and it runs pretty smooth. It has all the original engine and everything else. I haven't had to replace anything. I mean, I don't want to hand those back, but <laughs> I guess I will. Now, here's the important question. Now, don't answer it right away. you got to think about it. Give it a little pause. Even though I'm pretty sure I know what the answer is. If you were to perhaps sell the Pikachu car, if you were going to sell the Pikachu car, let's say that I wanted to buy the Pikachu car. Let's say that I wanted to buy it. I'm gonna type in a number. They're not gonna know what it is. I'm gonna type in a number and you think about it and you tell me if you would accept this offer and this is a 100% legit offer right now. Know. This is a 100% legit offer. So I am I am offering this right here. I might go home bankrupt. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so here is the offer. Let's go somewhere. Let's let's freak somebody out.